Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Nose buttons. So we already know this. Uh, nose buttons are essentially used to attach the vehicle to the mast for mooring and ground handling. But one important aspect is to prevent the nose imploding due to the dynamic pressure. So I will show you that. Watch the nose of this airship carefully as it flies. So we have just launched it. Uh, this is in the gliding center in Pune 2003. We are uh, practicing before we go for a demonstration. I am sorry, December 2002, because we were supposed to go in Jan 2003 to demonstrate this airship. Observe the nose of the airship. You can observe now that the nose of the airship is flat. It is imploding because the dynamic pressure which is acting on this airship when it is trying to fly at some speed is more than what the internal pressure can handle. So when the pressure inside cannot handle the dynamic pressure plus the pressure outside, then obviously the nose will move inside. This will create extremely high drag forces because now the nose is not rounded. It is actually like a flat plate. Okay. So it affects the now, in this airship, as I said, we did not have the luxury of putting any nose buttons. But during the flight testing, we realized that unless we do something about it, either we put the gas under higher pressure and we have studied the effect of pressure on the net lift. Okay? It does not really help that much, but it will create structural loading. So, during this testing, we realized that uh, the nose of the airship will implode unless you uh, really uh, provide something in the front. I have one more interesting video which shows nose imploding. Uh, let me try to locate that picture. This is not, uh, th that picture is not of our airship, but uh, it is uh, it's an airship made by others. I, I do not know exactly, but let us try. You can see the nose. It is completely imploded. It will be yeah, there you see. You can see the nose. The nose is flat. Correct? So they had put a very, very powerful motor in this airship. You can even hear it. It is very powerful motor. And the reason why even with so much of power it is only flying so slowly is because the nose is imploding. Okay, so so the nose buttons are needed to provide structural rigidity in the front of the airship. We are also uh, we also need something to be mounted there so that the mast can be attached. Okay, and uh, also there may be a need to add some weight in the front just for ballasting or for trimming the airship for central gravity control. So these are various types of nose buttons which you see in uh, actual airships. There could be fixed nose buttons which are uh, essentially a complete structure made externally and attached to the airship. You could also have collapsible nose buttons like the umbrella. Okay. We have also made one nose button type which is collapsible. This helps in transportation. You can take it out and transport it very easily. You do not require a big place to store it because if you have a fixed structure of that size, then you have to carry it like that only. So you can see these are our collapsible nose buttons for indoor airship. We have used 
the cane material. In IDC, there is a cane studio. There is a bamboo studio in IDC. There are uh, two faculty members, uh, Professor Rao and a junior faculty member, who are uh, experts in using bamboo and cane for various uh, applications, including structural applications. So, with their help and participation, we have uh, we have a very experienced mechanic there who can make almost any structure out of cane. So, with his help, we have got these collapsible nose battens for our small indoor airships, which can be simply attached to the envelope. So, as you can see, we have inbuilt some flaps onto the nose of the airship and we just push these nose battens inside and then we connect the end of them using a simple circular link. So, with that, it does not come out. It is very lightweight and it does the job of strengthening the nose and also al allows it to be attached to the mast. So, you can see the picture of our airship with the nose battens, circular ring attached to the mast. This picture was taken by Utsav Bharadwaj uh, for a paper that he wrote to showcase his mast. His paper has appeared in a journal recently, which also I will like to share with all of you. For outdoor airships, we had two uh, designs. One was we used simple wooden strips, but we covered them with tubes which were heat shrunk. Now, these tubes are going to give it little bit of softness. Otherwise, if you put sharp edged wood with the fabric, it can create cuts and holes. And in the front, we attached a plate, a simple plate. But there are problems. Problem is that if the loads are a bit locked, it can break because it is a wooden strip which is uh, which has a lot of inertia. So, this is that particular picture. This is the airship in the arrow fire. So, these are the wooden strips and you can see uh, from here to here, they are inside the envelope, so you cannot see them. From here to here, they are outside the envelope, so you can see that black colored strip with the heat ring tube. Okay, this is a better picture of the same thing. So, we just took a classical dish from the mess, okay, just a plate from the mess and we beat it into a flat place and then created these attachments to the edges for the various uh, uh, nose battens. Then the second design is, this was not found satisfactory, the second design is again we went back to cane. So, thick cane, but this time with some reinforcements and joints and some ring in the front for degree of freedom and attachment to the mast. So, you can see this is uh, the final design that has been used. This particular design and fabrication was done by this person called Vishal Sharma. You can see him in this picture. So, he is uh, the guy who is available in LTA lab. He is the one who has come up with this idea and gone for its fabrication and testing. So, these are the nose button types which we are using. They are fairly lightweight and they do the job that is needed. 